Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Andrew and welcome to Leo Gaming. Today we are starting up the LP for the City Skylines, of course, Let's Play. So if you haven't checked out already, please go check out the website. It is will be linked in the description below. And if you can't find it there, go ahead and go over to the About section on the YouTube channel. And then uh, go ahead and click on the My Website link. And then it will take you straight over to My Website. And it will tell you all you need to know about the channel and then also what the schedule is currently. And also what the stream schedule is. I'm currently updating it right now, so you won't know what the stream schedule is but the video schedule will remain as said inside of the website. Um, so if you guys don't know, uh, Mass Transit was recently released on the uh, West City Skylines. So I decided, okay, so what's a good scenario from Mass Transit that we can use? So I looked through the scenarios that we had and I saw this one, trains. and. I kind of like this one because of the fact that it's on a good map. So the story message is, do you like trains? Sigiville is the perfect location for a city that's all about trains. This task of building a grand city to house plenty of people has been given to you. Go build. So if we take a look at our goals to win the game we must construct 210 instances of train tracks currently we have none and then transport 200,000 people using trains but to lose the game we must have uh, we have to do one after each other so play 20 game weeks and have less than a thousand population uh, play 150 game weeks and have under 1200 population or have zero money so we start off with the default balance so I kind of like this scenario because of the fact that it's basically a vanilla scenario now I do have a couple mods enabled I have the move it mod enabled I have network extensions enabled and I have a few others that I will go over um, if you guys want to take a look at my complete mod and um, assets pack, go ahead and take a look in the description. There will be a link there to take a look at the assets and mod collection. There are somewhere about like I think 80 different mods and assets that I use in total. So there's that. So I'm gonna quickly just do the simple lay down a road, unlock the one-way roads. Now, we will get into transportation, but as of right now, what we got to start off with is simply just the regular uh, routes. So I'm going to extend this by like one more set. Okay, so there, uh, this is going to be our beginning of the area. And just to start it off. And if it looks like I'm doing this a little bit wrong, uh, go ahead and let me know in the comment section. I do have like over six years of experience, or not six years of experience, hell no. The game hasn't even been out for that long, so why am I saying that? Um, I do have somewhere about like 200 some odd hours of game time recorded. Um, so there's that. Line up like two units at a time. So let me go ahead and up that to three units. I have the uh, fine road tool and the fine road anarchy tool enabled. So there's that. And the reason that I'm making the on and off ramps um, kind of like uh, going into bridge format is mostly for the fact that. I want to make sure that these uh, that I don't have to raise the uh, road. Now it kind of seems kind of weird why I would do that, but um, that's just the way I am inside this game. And then let me go from here, one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, right there. Okay, let's 
straight along for 11 units. One, two, three. Down, up. And then back down. One, two, three. And then. Go. Uh, I think that that side's a little bit long. No, this side is actually a little bit short. That's where it's supposed to be at. There we go. So that's going to be our first major intersection. I'm going to be using some of the network extension roads in this save. And I will enable the, um, or I will uh, uh, post the save game later on, but not for the moment. Mostly so that way I can just focus on uh, building up the city and letting you guys see what I do first. By the way, if you guys have any comments or suggestions about anything that I'm doing wrong in this game or anything you suggest that I need to change, please let me know in the comments section. That would help me out a ton and it would let me know what you guys think of the LP so far. Um, so, from here, I'm going to use a two-lane boulevard just simply going out like that and then to top it off I'm going to extend these out by two blocks two blocks there we go there's that section done and also the reason that I set these on ramps to 11 instead of by 10 is because later on I want to expand this road that's going across the uh, quote-unquote freeway um, into a four-lane boulevard so I want to basically expand it over to from a uh, small heavy road <clears throat> oh sorry about that over to a medium road now I don't think I'm gonna use the one with the turn lanes but I think I will use the one that's just a regular four-lane road that is with the default game um, all these other roads I can't really use at the moment. So, and I think I also, yeah, I did that one wrong. This. I'm just going to connect this up, so that way we don't have to worry about that. And then, for the meantime... There we go. So, I want to put residential all right here and all right here. And then for the moment, I want to put two full blocks there and two full blocks there. And then in this small area, once when we get it, I'm going to um, put down uh, some parks. That's why I kept those areas open, that, and also we don't really have any commercial demand. Over on this side, I want to go ahead and get started with the industrial. So I'm just going to start off with this for now, because I can't really go beyond that. kind of sucks. Um, so there's that. going to do that much industrial and to start off um, real quick I need to go into full screen here because I have this currently windowed uh, okay yes okay uh, I'm gonna go ahead and place down a power plant right over here yeah that's gonna provide us enough power to last us for quite a bit of time so I'm going to make sure that that is going to be one of our primary goals. Um, let me go ahead and get one right there and one right there. So that way you can just connect up like so. So I'm going to be like doing a whole bunch of this like, oh, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to do this um, type of birding. I'm not sure how else you can um, say that. And also, let me go ahead and put just a little bit of residential right there and some right there. Some more was like some all along here. 
So that's what we're going to start off with. And that, uh, that gap should be close enough that this industrial should automatically be connected to the, um, to the power plant. And just starting off, once when this power plant kicks on, I believe it's going to be producing like 40 megawatts. Yeah, it says right there, power output 40 megawatts. Um, for water, water and sewage. Thank you for reminding me, game. I don't need to worry about that. I want to put the water pumps all the way up against the bridge and then put dumps down here. And then I'm going to connect these straight on like that. And then I'm going to go and get the pipe laid out here. I'm going to make sure that I run these as efficiently as possible. I would do the whole 440 trick. If you guys don't know what the 440 trick is, go check out um, the Flare Skystorm. I think that he has done a video explaining that. I think that is a part of one of his LP videos. I think that's where it's from. Um, check out his first LP series of City Skylines, and it basically tells you that with the pipes, the optimal spacing is 440. So like if I were to go from like right here to there, that is the optimal spacing for all of your pipes. I just like to have it a little bit closer together just so that way we have that little bit of overlap. So um, with that said, um, let me go and expand our um, yeah, expand our power lines down here a bit. In fact, instead of doing that, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to put a turbine. Hmm. I don't want to do that. Turbine from like right here all the way over to about here. That is going to go in the water, but heck, that's not going to ruin the efficiency. And I'm going to just put a wind turbine right there. That way, once when that starts working, both of those will have power and we'll be good to go. And just to start on off, turn on that, uh, turn off that visor he helped. Um, I'm going to turn down the water budget to 50% because we already produce a whole bunch of water by the time we get started. And the same with the power budget. Just so that way we can make sure we stay in a positive income for a majority of the time. So we are down to 5,000 monies. So let's go ahead and wait for the residential to come on in. They should pop in fairly quickly. In fact, let me go and speed it up. Come on. There we go. And now you see. Okay, so the electricity grid uh, is already connected, so we don't need to worry about having another pylon going from here to like here. But uh, yeah, all these like quaint little houses right here. We got like a little detached house or semi-detached. Ooh, a little family house right here, okay. Mm, okay, so that's kind of like a um, community uh, house type thing. big house right there so yeah as you can plainly tell yeah so we forgot to do one thing connect the water pipes to there and that is uh, that is literally all the money we have and if we go to the negative we will lose the scenario so let's go ahead and get that started Okay, everyone's building up perfectly fine. Uh, seems like we're running low on residential space. I might expand here in a moment, but uh, what is costing us the most right now? It's honestly power, but really I can't do anything about that. Uh, mostly for the fact that this one's already producing like 10, uh, 10 output right now, and it's costing us 280 per week. 
while the uh, wind turbine is only costing us $40 a week. And we're only consuming like three. So there's that. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a quick expansion here if I can. I don't think I can. No, I cannot. I don't have enough money. No! We're already gonna lose the scenario, guys. Turn off the budget for that. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm down to $218. If I were to bulldoze you, how much would that give me back? I know that's supposed to give me back some money. It doesn't. Damn it. Industrial demand it hasn't really popped up yet. Even though it's down in the demand bar, I'm going to go ahead and try my hardest. Yeah, not enough money. Oof. Try my hardest. Okay. How much is that? To, oh god, 1200 just to move? I'm already in a bad place. Oh no. I can go as far as to there, but I can't go any further than that. No! I wonder, does that give me any money back? It's supposed to. Uh, but not really. Yeah, I'm gonna have to restart this scenario. <laughs> okay, so we are back. After waiting for almost 15 minutes just for the game to load, oy vey, I am back here. I'm gonna do something similar to what I started with, but, um... Okay. So, I'm still gonna do the one-way rows right here. Uh, I'm gonna do actually do 1500. I'll do 1600 even. That's fine with me. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna use this like miniature one, um, one cell street just because I know for a fact that it's gonna be a lot cheaper. So there's that. Oh, can these not go up? Weird. Okay. I did not know that. Apparently they cannot. That's one, two, three, boom. Sorry if I'm being a little bit quiet here. I just don't want to be, like, spending too much money. But, um... <clears throat> I think at this point... I want to spend 40. Yeah, it's going to be 40 no matter what, so... I'll do that. Um, okay. Go 8 units down... Cross. Uh, eight units down. 
point and across. Now, at first glance, that angle does uh, seem steep, but we're not going to worry about that. Okay. And I remember that we used the um, water pumping station before, but we're actually going to use now the water tower, so that way it's a lot cheaper. Um, okay. I'm just going to put that right there. That way I know that, yes, it's been placed. Okay, uh, that's covered. Let's get this down here. And take it all the way down. So I also got to get the draining pipe. Okay. And I want to cover the most amount of space as possible with these pipes. So that way I'm a little bit more efficient. It's fine. Okay. So there's that. Um, let's go ahead and do four down this way. And then, oop, game, stop lagging. build this out just a little bit more. So the first major area is going to be over here. I'm just going to use a flood tool just so that way I'm a little bit more efficient with my um, zoning. And over here I'll use the marquee. I'll only zone this side at first and then I will zone the other side. And then boom. And boom. six right there. So that way once when we do. Um, I'm not sure if I should go with that at first. 560 per week. Um, that's also going to take a lot of our money. So I'm going to just use a wind turbine. And I'll go ahead and destroy that. And then I will zone this area right here. Four, four, uh, four, eight, twelve. I always like to go in the uh, sections of four because the largest footprint you can have for a building is a four by four footprint. Reason why a lot of the roads or all the roads have it so that way the max depth of the footprint is four. And let's go ahead and get the commercial in, leaving the same amount of space that we did for the other thing. Um, and then I'm going to just go ahead and put that up right there. And that should work here within the next few seconds. Uh, okay. So let's go and start up the simulation. Oh, I really do hope that it works this time. <laughs> Come on. 
I decided to save about 20k, so I don't have to worry about that. Come on, can someone just build up over here? That would be perfect if you would. And you would have, um... Oh, I see that I forgot to do something. Yes, I do. Okay, there's that. Can someone just please build up over here? It's currently seeking power right now. So, what I'm going to do to save me the trouble. To make things a little bit easier. Um, I'll just do that. Okay, so industrial is moving on in. Well, we haven't expanded the water pipe since I didn't expand it before. And um, I think we are going to leave it for a little bit. We're going to check the budget. Spending too much on the water. How much are we producing as far as power? Six megawatts. Mm, that's fine, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and lower that down to like 75. So, um, I think we are going to leave it off there, and we will check back. You guys will be back on Tuesday to see whether or not we were successful in coming out of the dead zone. So I'm going to pause it now. At uh, It's in day, month, year format, so it's currently July 13th in the game this year so I will see you guys back next time on Thursday to see how everything's going adios